All right, so in the last video, we kind of talked about how to go about doing an acknowledge all. So I want to do that and give you the implementation of that. So let's go in here and turn this back to acknowledge required. Now, um, that's going to take care of that. And now I'm going to go to my header. Now, this is going to do a little bit with VBA code. So I want to show you this. Okay. First, I want you to understand that if you're using VBA code in any instance of what you're doing, then you're going to need to click on the object itself and you're going to go to properties, but you're going to, what I'm going to show you is you go to properties over here. It's easily to see. It's easier to see. Go down to VBA code and click expose to VBA code. Okay. That's going to say expose to VBA code and put VBA control. Okay. Then that's going to be just that simple. Now you're going to hit save. Now, in this instance, let's just check to make sure everything is still running. It is still working. Okay, and we still have one that needs to be acknowledged. So now we're going to make a button. I'm going to come over here and just show you a, this is a way that, um, a, a real, real simple way to do VBA code. And that's, that's, I know that there's an interest in using VBA code, so I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to create a button. I'm going to draw a button right here. Okay. So this button is going to be there. All right, now the only thing I care about in this button is the common, and I'm gonna change the text in this button, right? I wanna call this acknowledge button, and well, let's just, let's just call this VBA. So in this example, you know that it is VBA. Now in the uh, expression, or in the caption I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put uh, acknowledge, button so just that simple but the most important thing I want you to highlight is this name right here is going to be what we're going to use okay so we're gonna click OK now in this instance I'm gonna I'm gonna right click on that I'm gonna go to VBA code and now I have my release action already set in my VBA code now let me show you how to type this out just so it's very simple in the application you're going to choose me dot and then we can choose the alarm summary and if you would have not checked the exposed to VBA code then it would not have populated okay so now we have that and now we can come over here and select acknowledge all right so now we can select that that's just that simple on how to do that. Now we just merely check our button or we go in here and we uh, hit save. We can close our VBA code. We can go over here. When you save your VBA code, you save your screen, so be careful of that. We're gonna come over here and test this. And it's just that simple. So now you have that there right so it's just that simple and you can see the indication of how that worked so that's the acknowledge push button right that's the, the way you would do that on VBA code now the reason I wanted to show you a simple imp implementation of VBA code is because well I do know it's highly um, useful and I do know there's a lot of implementation on this now this is not a course for VBA code on how to do anything of that nature but what it is important is that the highlighted feature that you want to control with the VBA code that you highlight it you come down here to the properties panel down here you can easily tell my name the name of the instance I'm using is alarm event summary one I did come down here and expose expose to VBA code I set that control to control then that gave me the ability to come over here and write this button then in that button, I named it something that I, I could easily find in the VBA code, which just happened to be acknowledge push button VBA, um, because that's what we use in our illustration. I open VBA code to that specific point, and then I merely type out just like I just showed you, acknowledge all. You can have uh, another one called me. Me is simply directing it to that specific in that application or that uh, that that screen, if you would. And then you want to come down here to go to the exposed element that you exposed. Then 
again put a period and then that goes over there now you can alarm select it alarm page uh, you can go you can do many many different things when it comes down to it now you can do the list the most common again is really 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 where we're at right here acknowledge all simple as that you can do acknowledge page uh, really what you want to do now if you come out here and you didn't put anything in there it would come up highlight red we'll come back and leave it just as as we have it select that come over here now let's run our client now we're gonna run our client file because we did edit the header okay so now I'm gonna show you as the client starts let's let the client start and I'm gonna show you the implementation of the actual acknowledge button working right okay so now the client is cranking up and we're going to get to see that so I'm gonna make sure we populate an alarm we have our acknowledge push button up here uh, again we can make that visible or not we can actually add some controls in there to make that visible or whatever the case may be let's come over here and add this uh, let's trigger an alarm we'll trigger the same alarm we'll come over here now we're going to hit our global reset now uh, as we hit our global reset that will actually acknowledge that then we can come over here and hit the acknowledge and put right there now the comment feature you can actually have uh, that's that's really there for your you know to add a comment you can put a comment there to say whatever the case may be um, in that indication uh, you wanted to actually come in and, and add a comment you could actually come over here and add a comment to the VBA code but again that's getting very very technical um, but you could add some stuff in here to, you know, add a comment to this. Um, I believe show whatever the case may be like right here. You can actually add some stuff into there. We're not actually going to do that. Again, we want to actually leave this just like it is and leave that saved. Uh, but again, I just wanted to show you a simple implementation of using VBA code inside of Factory Talk Site Edition. Again, a lot of people use this and it is very functional. So uh, hopefully that was helpful and sh it shows you how to use um, one indication of how to reset or acknowledge an alarm in a law alarm history, an alarm summary uh, in that case. So actually, you know, being that the alarm summary is up here, let me show you that uh, one more time just to show you that that does work. We'll, we'll do another alarm. Let's just say four and we'll come up here. Now alarm four is on. Let's go to the alarm page and let's reset it. And instead of using this alarm reset or acknowledge, we're going to hit this one. And that should close all that out. Just that simple. Okay, so now you see exactly how that works and how the VBA could works. Now that button was used quite different. It didn't call any commands, didn't write to any PLCs. It used the VBA code in the back of the application to, uh, to achieve that goal. Hopefully that was helpful and how to easily write VBA code. Again, VBA uh, can be like, I mean, there's so many different things. Yeah, okay, right, we could do a whole course on VBA. But again, I wanted to show you a simple implementation of this while you're inside of this course to give you an understanding. So hopefully you appreciated that and we'll see you guys on the next one.